You're watching do <laughs> It's too early. You're watching day 229, Big Wave Training. Starting it off instead of behind the computer. We're going surfing. Let's go. Bro, look at this. Oh, it looks so fun. I am so freaking cold right now. Look at this. Oh, my triple chin. <laughs> look at this wave. Look at this wave. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. Let's get out of there. my hands. I can't. I can't feel them. <laughs> kind folks at FCS were nice enough to send me a couple new sets of fins to try in my current favorite board ever, and today we're gonna try. The Philippe Toledo's in a large to see if I could surf like Philippe. And I'm gonna give these an honest review. These are so light, this is crazy. <laughs> Yo, this might go down as one of my greatest wax jobs ever. Shout out to Waylon Kenworthy for getting me dialed in. Thank goodness it's booty season, man, because look at all these rocks. Oh, look at all these little guys, man. They're just gonna bake in the sun. You have a little see an enemy minimum snack on the way in. Belly board a wave every now and then. <laughs> Stay like a starfish. Woohoo! Beautiful morning though. Look at this, it's all crisp and offshore. I did not I didn't think with the storm yesterday it would be like this. Overall the fins felt like they were light and airy. I guess I guess it goes with the air core name. <laughs> they had good spring, drive, and hold. Although the waves that I got didn't really facilitate me being able to do anything substantial. But from what I can feel, I think I like it better than the JS fins that I've been using. Stay tuned, I'm gonna get some land angle clips and then you can be the judge. Current rating is 7.5 out of 10 with an asterisk because I need to try them again. I don't know what happened, but it's gotten significantly better since. I uh, came in. It's a beautiful morning, also. Look at this. <laughs> Gotta go edit yesterday's video, work on some other stuff, and then go to Newport. We are celebrating the life of a fallen friend today who I used to work with when I was a crew member on a super yacht. What the heck? I am convinced that I have the best job for me. Not the best job in the world, because if it was the best job in the world, that would mean that everyone on this planet would want that job and that's just not true because the best job in the world is different for every single person but I feel so lucky to have found mine that is like the best job that is surfing and, and making videos and combining engineering and all these other passions together for one thing and I just wanted to come on here and say that because I'm grateful for it and I'm really excited for what's coming because we aren't stopping here there are plenty more big waves to ride plenty more lessons to give and and enough good vibes to keep us stoked even through the lowest points. I'm not trying to be a motivational speaker, I'm just splurging whatever it was running through my head right now and it got me smiling, so if I smile, I share it. I just got up to Newport because today we are sadly celebrating the life of someone who I worked with for quite some time uh, on Shambhala Super Yacht I used to work on uh, for a few seasons doing chartering. She had a 
pretty big impact on my life and it came as a shock to everyone um, I'll talk about more of it later but I gotta go get on the, the boat This is the garage. A couple jet skis. There used to be a boat here. And I am down here. So we're taking all of the big yachts that Michelle worked on out of the harbor. Sorry that it's so windy, it's really no 